Dean, thanks for joining me. We've got a busy uh, bank holiday weekend coming up. Uh, what's our approach been like for it? Yeah, obviously nice to win last weekend. So it's given the boys a, a boost, a little bit of confidence, but we're in for a tough weekend. Um, Grimsby obviously are flying at the top of the farm guide at the minute. Um, and they're fighting, sort of getting the playoffs and cement their playoff position. Um, so good side, um, a lot of experience, good players, experienced managers. So that'll be a difficult game. And then obviously we travel up to Ultra, you know, another team going really well the minute so like I said there's no easy games in the division um, but two challenges and we'll see how we come up against them A, a few positives that's taken to, uh, into this weekend for, from Eastley um, obviously c- came back for it from 1-0 down to, to level the score and then obviously went on to go and win with, with, uh, with 10 men how, how are we looking to, to bring those positives into, uh, into the weekend? Yeah it gives you belief um, you know winning football matches gives players confidence belief um, but I just thought a walk, a walk rate and a walk ethic can be stuck together we dug deep, um, and that's what you have to do to win football matches. And we've got to be we've got to do that on a more consistent basis. So hopefully there'll be more of the same. Ideally, I'd like us to keep more clean sheets, um, but we just need to be more consistent with our performance. So hopefully we can uh, we can achieve that this weekend. Do you feel like Easter could be a, maybe a, a, a turning point for us, given given our recent form? This listen, this is a different opposition. No disrespect to Eastley, Grimsby are a totally different opposition. Uh, really good side. They lock you in really well. They're good really good so we're going to have to be very very good to help and hopefully they'll have an off day or we make them have an off day I think that's important um, so but like I say it's a challenge hopefully the players can step up to it and uh, hopefully we have got a game plan um, there'll be long periods where we won't have the ball we know that because uh, like I say they've got some really good players so um, from our point of view we've just got to walk our socks off stay in the game as long as we can and try force some errors from the opposition you already touched them, but what sort of challenges are you expecting from Grimsby, especially given their, uh, their winning run at the minute? Yeah, they've just got a lot of pace in wide areas, experience, um, target man Taylor leads the line brilliant for them, very good in centre midfield, two experienced centre-backs, they're a good side, you know, and that's why they're in the position they are, they've had consistency all season, I know they went through a bit of a sticky pal- uh, uh, spell, but they were missing players within that period, that just shows you, you need everybody fit within this division to play, when they had the injuries, they struggled to win football matches. Um, but now they're back on where they want to be. So, look, a lot of compliments to them. But for us, we're going to have to dig really, really deep and work extremely hard to make sure we get something out of the game. James Cairns returns to training after a, a long time out. Have you got any news on the, uh, some of the other injured lads? Yeah, the injury list just keeps getting added to it. Obviously, Cox is suspended. Um, Aston Oxford today has done his first training session since his concussion situation. Um, and Jordan Thomas is out with an ankle injury. So, you know... Um, Defensively, we're a little bit depleted again. Uh, nobody else is really back, but nobody is back, um, apart from James. Um, so, yeah, Jake Askew has got an injury as well, so James will be involved tomorrow. So, look, it is what it is. We've been saying this for a long, long time. Um, and, uh, you know, we've just got to look and say, the harder you walk, the luckier you get in life. And uh, that's what we've got to do. Walk extremely hard tomorrow. The fans seem to enjoy themselves uh, easily last weekend, and I'm sure you'd like to get another positive uh, result for them this weekend. Yeah, supporters just want to see honest hard work. That's what they want to see. And we gave that last week and we got rewards for that. So it's more of the same tomorrow. Um, we've got, like I say, walk rate is the key to tomorrow. We've got to walk so, so hard. And we've got to quite out the errors, individual errors. You know, we've got a good concentration in the game. So we're playing against better players. It's as simple as that. Um, but our supporters, yeah, they've stood by us. They've stayed positive with us. Um, you know, it's been a challenging season for them once again. Um, so we've just got to keep sticking together and, and get through these tough times. And uh, and hopefully we'll come out on the, on the right side.